In the last video, I defined this ages array, and I showed you. Let's just recap here. I have the runtime stack, and there's instructions and stuff going on here. Eventually, main gets invoked, and uh, we see one of the things of initializing main. Well, a main's going to have its own uh, call stack info, but part of that call stack is these four integers. So let me just draw them here again. That's one, two of them. <laughs> let's do two more. Okay, so four integers on the stack. It's a crooked stack. I bent my memory stick. All right. Well, what is ages here? In C++, if you're used to Java or C Sharp, ages is a reference to an array object down on the heap and a whole bunch of other stuff. Not C++. Ages is a pointer. All right. When I reference or say ages, ages points to the beginning of where these four integers are located. All right, so so uh, let me uh, erase here. Right? Oh, that's not eraser. Oh, it's still not eraser. I need eraser. Please eraser. Thank you, eraser. Okay. So let's 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 mess with this a little bit. The name of an array is a pointer. All right, and since it's a pointer, I can treat it like any other pointer. So watch this. I can say int star p gets ages. All right, well, what's P? Well, ages is the address of the beginning of the first the first element, all right? It's the address of the first element in the array. And P, since I said P gets ages here, well, it is now pointing to, let me get that more precise, that same address, all right? In fact, I can actually have some fun here. Let me let me clear off the screen here and let's 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 print some stuff. I'm going to say see out ages and line and C out P and line. You're used to I've shown you before pointers and showing the address what the pointer is pointing at. But now I got this array thing build run it. Hopefully you would expect the same address to point out. Or not point out, print out. <laughs> okay, so an array name is simply a pointer. It's a pointer, I can't change it though. I couldn't say like uh I don't know, ages maybe say int another int and then ages gets the address of another int. All right, build that. We get some errors of saying, "Hey, um, cannot convert from int star to an int int uh, array." All right. Um, if another int was actually an array of other integers, like, and it had to be four, I could actually do a straight assignment. But what that would do is, is uh, well, I don't know if that'd work. Let's. Yeah. Okay. That doesn't work. Uh, yeah, that doesn't work. It's constant. Okay, I can't, I can't modify it. All right, but ages here, the the name ages is still a pointer, much like p, except p I can change and have a point to. In fact, in fact, let me show you some fun little pointer arithmetic. I'm going to, uh, uh, let's see here, ages, ages sub zero. Don't blink. I'm going to pump some values into our ages array. Told you not to blink. Here I'm assigning the zeroth element, the first element in our array, a 32 and a 6 and a 93 and a 32. So let me, I'm going to go to kind of a sideways notation, but memory is memory and addresses are addresses. So here's our array of four integers. All right, and I have a 32 here and I have a 6 here. And I have a 93 and I got a 30, oh, another 30. I got two 32s. Didn't even notice. Okay, int star p gets ages. So let's do a little coding here. I'm going to gonna say C out star P and line. Well, what would you expect to print when I do that? Pause the video, think, return. I'll build and run it in the meantime. 32. All right, I told you before that when I, when I assign P to ages, it's like saying, hey, P, you're going to point to the same thing ages is pointing to, which is the first address of the, or the zeroth address of the first element in the array. All right. So let's continue on with this. I let's, I, I want to move to the next one. Well, C out um, star, and then let's say P plus one. If you remember from the pointer arithmetic video, um, when I say star uh, or P plus one, this adds not one byte, but the size of what I'm pointing to. So since since uh, int is four bytes, it's going to add four to the value of P, and then I'm going to dereference it and, that, and print that. So so uh, let me let me go back to my pencil here. But I'm going to switch colors. All right. Let me just kind of do the byte marks here. You know, in hex, we I could give you the hexadecimal representation. But now I got zero, one, two, three, four bytes. P 
plus one really means plus four. So that's going to change the P pointer. Instead of pointing to the address of the first one here, it's going to point to the next one, which is six. All right, so let's let's uh, let's output six there. Let's run that, and there you go, 32 and six. Well, you know, with a race syntax, this looks a lot like a race syntax. I'm going to copy these two lines, and I'm going to paste them down here. And uh, instead of saying star p, I'm going to say uh, ages sub zero, All right? And uh, instead of star p plus one, I'm going to say uh, ages sub one. Well, it's interesting. If you look at, you know, if I continued on with this pattern I did up here, let me just paste this line all four times. So this is going to be one. This is going to be two. And then this one's going to be. Uh, uh, two and a three there. Well, let me erase all this here so we can see what's going on. Compare uh, these four lines right here with these four lines. You know, on this line, I could actually make I can make this expression look a lot like these ones. I could say, well, star p plus zero. Now look, 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 look. These look a lot like this, except I'm I'm using a different syntax here. So really, when I'm saying ages sub zero, ages sub one, I, I I'm dereferencing ages, but I'm also adding an offset to ages before I dereference. Okay, so the output's going to be if I can build and run this, it's going to run. There we go. The output is 32, 6, 93, 32. Access through p pointer. Then ages here, well, access through ages is the same as dereferencing and adding, but I get the same result. I'm reading the same RAM, 32, 6, 93, 32. Okay, so an array is really just an address to the first element in a sequence of items. Notice the items are, contigu are contiguous. I am guaranteed that one will come after the other, come after the other, come after the other. That's a good warm feeling because then I can use this pointer arithmetic to get around. In fact, watch this just to prove to you how pointerous ages is. I'm going to warp this syntax on this first line here with the brackets. I'm going to change it to look a lot like uh, what we have up here with P. All right. Let's let's just do the same here with this other one. Plus. Okay. And I can build and run that and see the output. The results are identical. I still get 32 and 6 when I access ages here as a pointer. One other note to think of is since ages is a pointer, I can't, there's no way for me to say, hey, ages, how long are you? It's just a pointer. It's just pointing out a memory somewhere. It's up to me as the programmer to keep track that ages is of length four. In fact, hopefully I wouldn't have a magic number. I'd say uh, max num ages that have some const integer that would represent that. So const, uh, let's use a unsigned int because it doesn't make sense to have a negative a negative size, but uh, unsigned uh, int, and let me just clear the screen off. Unsigned int max num ages gets four, and then and so on and so forth. So it's up to me to kind of keep this the size off to the size off to the side, and then reference it or use it accordingly.